Jesus is born today. We read from the Bible, Luke's Gospel. It's a historic document of the first century. It's not made up by the church. Luke was a travel companion of Paul, part of the early church. He was a doctor. He was good at historic details. <coughs> and we read the Christmas story often at Christmas, 25th December. It's not necessarily the date. It's for any time Jesus is born. Chapter 2. Read alongside in any of your Bible. Amharic, Urdu, Arabic, French, German, Swiss. Depending what is your mother tongue, any African language is good. Scholars have worked from textus receptus in Greek. They translated the exact meaning of the Holy Bible. Verse 1, Luke writes, In those days, Caesar Augustus, that was the Roman ruler at the time, in control of Israel, Palestine, surrounding countries in the Middle East. Caesar Augustus made a law. It required that a list be made of everyone in the whole Roman world. Marta Mishamari, we call in Urdu. Counting the people. Consensus, right? The whole Roman world, it was the first time, verse 2, chapter 2, verse 2, it was the first time a list was made of the people while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own town to be listed. And now we read about Joseph and Mary, the story. <coughs> Verse 3, chapter 2, read along. This is a historic report. Joseph went also. He went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea. That is where Bethlehem, the town of David, was. Joseph went there because he belonged to the family line of David. He went there with Mary to be listed. Mary was engaged to him. She was expecting a baby. You remember in chapter 1? Mary meets with her cousin Elizabeth, who was three months earlier pregnant with John the Baptist. While Mary's pregnancy, the boy was the Lord Jesus Christ, Hazard Isa al Masih, the greatest prophet of all time, the one promised to Moses by Almighty God, that he would come. The Messiah, Masi, Mashiach. Let's read on. They went, <coughs> while Joseph and Mary were there, the time came for the child to be born. So they were in Bethlehem. This was the forefather's town, the town of David. Joseph was a descendant of David. So was Mary. She was a cousin. Verse 7. She gave birth to her first baby. It was a boy. The first baby. She was probably just a teenager. Very early birth. And it was a boy, Bible says. She wrapped him in large strips of cloth. Then she placed him in a manger. manger. There was no room for them in the inn. <clears throat> Verse 8. There were shepherds living out in the field nearby. It was night. And they were looking after their sheep. An angel of the Lord appeared to them. And the glory of the Lord shone around them. They were terrified. Verse 10, chapter 2. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of a great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. So, Savior means Yeshua, which is in English, Jesus 
or Issa in desert Arabic. Same person whom we call now 2020 is after Christ, the Messiah. Verse 12. Here is how you will know I am telling you the truth. You will find a baby wrapped in strips of cloth and lying in a manger. Suddenly, a large group of angels from heaven also appeared. They were praising God. They said, glory be given to God in the highest. Alhamdulillah. Praise God. And may peace be given to those he is pleased with on earth. The angels left and went into heaven. Then the shepherds said to one another, let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see the things that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off, verse 16, and found Mary and Joseph and the baby. The baby was lying in a manger. After the shepherds had seen him, they told everyone, they reported what the angel had said about this child. All who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. Are you amazed, my dear friends on Facebook, what God has done for us when Jesus was born into this world? Look at the shepherds here. Be one of them.